Okay, this is the garage pedestrian door. And these are the self-closing springs right here. And this must cause this door to close on its own accord, which it doesn't do because the springs have been adjusted out. All the tape is readjusting the springs. And you see a people and a garage door and these double single cylinder deadbolts, latchless <coughs> deadbolts. That's an indication that this was rental property. Could have been. Okay. The insulation, weather stripping, that's weather stripping insulation right there is missing from the latch side of the door. It's been removed. I don't think it wants to, no? This is the pull down attic access ladder. It's in the garage. We're going on up. Yank you around a little bit. Double tour. Gotcha. Making sure we got all our tools. Coming on up. Seems to be fastened just fine. Okay. Good to see that. Coming on up. This is the light switch. Loose fill fiberglass. This is the indoor air handler. We have a radiant barrier. Okay. Pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see over here? It's got a collar beam. Right in there, that collar beam. See how it's got three nails holding it in place? We don't have three nails over here. We got two nails. Go on the other side. One a little farther. Two nails, two nails. So some of these collar beams were not properly tagged, they were not properly labeled, fastened, nailed, okay, loose fill, see how we got a uh, baffle right there, it's got a soffit baffle, all right, let's just zoom in on that, it's a soffit baffle. Do we have another soffit baffle? Alright. See the daylight beside it? Because we have continuous soffits. See the daylight over there? Okay. We're supposed to have a soffit baffle for every bit of soffit ventilation space. And they neglected to do that. So the attic's not been properly ventilated. My staff had more than half an inch sag in the, in the air duct right there. Your primary evaporator drain line does have a P-trap, but it's a shallow one. It's a shallow P-trap. Carrying use manual. Okay. Fresh air induction. Cool. Whole house ventilation control. Yeah. Okay. More sagging air duct right in there. Yeah, we got pretty good soffit baffles across the back of the house. They did a pretty good job on the south side. With that. Where am I stepping? Fair job on the east side. No, not really. The east and west sides could have been ventilated better. This right up here, it's called palm bracing. That'll be in the report. The code really doesn't address palm bracing. As long as the 
load path is properly supported, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Of course, palm bracing, that's why they put that board right there because they kind of mismeasured it. It's quicker to do that. That's the only reason they do it, it's because it's quicker. And so what happens there when you do that is you don't have a lot of uplift protection. I'm going to review this video. I don't see any depth markers. I'd say it's about 10 inches deep. Depth markers will tell us.